Hi boys and girls. I have a funny story to read to you today that will make us look at the differences in the world and accept ourselves as well. It's called Always Lots of Heinies at the Zoo. It was written by Ayun Holiday and illustrated by the picture, person who did the pictures by Dan Santant. If you hang around the cages at the zoo, watch closely and you'll learn a thing or two. From the feathered booty of the cockatoo to the hairy haunches of the caribou. Some are smooth and some are shiny. Some are swimming in the briny. No one tries to hide his hiney at the zoo. The male mandrel's fanny flashes cobalt blue. While the polar bears is more of an accru, the panther's backside's jet, and the beaver's is brunette. The flamingos is a bright azalea hue. The giant armadillo of Peru boasts a butt that's harder than a bowling shoe. But the buns of a baby bunny are so soft it isn't funny, and the jellyfish's tushy is see-through. The panda's can, can is fattened on bamboo. The lionesses on zebra and new. Miss Elephant's got junk in her supplemental trunk, which is many times the size of a kinkajou. Let us pause for a moment to review. Have we bitten off much more than we can chew? There's a rear for every deer, a caboose for every moose, glutes on newts, and bandicoots in every zoo. In our research, we found just one species who keeps its keister clothed in cotton at the zoo, and in corduroy and polyester too. Care to guess? It's people, just like me and you. We have different social customs than the shrew and the rhino and the giant kangaroo. For unlike your average ostrich or emu, blithely bearing buns, bums is not a thing we do. Human nudity is a public taboo. But three cheers for all those heinies at the zoo. Look at his hiney, oh my gosh. So that is the end of the book, but I'm just trying to tell you that all animals are different, just like all people are different. So keep that in mind, even when you go to the zoo. Bye guys.